You get a full eight hours of sleep. You didn't stay up late. You didn't scroll all night. And still, you wake up tired. You drag through the day. You reach for caffeine. You try to power through, but something feels off. This video breaks down why this happens, what's actually going on inside your brain and body, and how to fix it, step by step. Let's start with a truth that most people miss. Feeling tired doesn't always mean you need more sleep. Often, what you're feeling isn't physical exhaustion, it's mental resistance. You see, your brain evolved for one core mission, survival. And part of that mission involved conserving energy. Thousands of years ago, when we had to hunt, fight, and survive harsh environments, wasting energy could mean death. So if a task didn't offer an immediate reward, your brain learned to avoid it. That ancient system is still in place. Today, it's not about escaping predators. It's about avoiding emotionally or mentally difficult tasks. Decision-making, deep work, unresolved stress, uncertainty. When your brain senses something that feels too complex, too uncomfortable, or too risky, it activates what researchers call cognitive energy conservation. It feels like fatigue, but it's really avoidance. This is why you can sleep all night and still feel mentally exhausted in the morning, because the part of your brain that regulates energy and motivation, it hasn't had a real break. Now, let's talk about sleep itself, because sleep isn't just a block of hours. It's a cycle-based process. Your brain sleeps in 90-minute cycles. Each cycle moves through different stages, light sleep, deep sleep, and REM sleep. On average, most people need four to six full cycles per night. That's six to nine hours to feel mentally restored. But here's the key, you need to complete those cycles. Waking up in the middle of a cycle, especially from deep sleep, can leave you groggy and disoriented, even if you've slept a full eight hours. That's why someone who sleeps six hours in solid cycles may feel better than someone who sleeps eight hours but keeps waking up. Quality matters more than quantity. And this matters not just for your energy, but for your health. Deep sleep is when your brain processes memory, consolidates learning, and clears out neurotoxins through the glymphatic system, your brain's nighttime cleaning crew. REM sleep is when emotional processing and creative problem solving happen. And your heart, it benefits too. During restorative sleep, your heart rate lowers, blood pressure stabilizes, and your cardiovascular system recovers from daily stress. Chronic sleep disruption has been linked to higher risks of depression, anxiety, heart disease, weakened immunity, and cognitive decline. So what can you do to stop waking up tired and start feeling energized again? Step one, prioritize full sleep cycles. Aim to wake up at the end of a cycle, not in the middle. Step two, calm the brain before bed. Your mind needs time to downshift. Turn off screens an hour before sleep. Step three, address mental overload. Feeling tired during the day? It might be resistance, not fatigue. Break tasks into smaller pieces. Take one step instead of tackling the whole mountain. Step four, move your body early in the day. Exercise regulates circadian rhythm, improves sleep quality, and supports mental clarity. There's one more factor that often gets overlooked, oxygen. During deep sleep, your brain uses oxygen to power the glymphatic system, the process that removes waste and supports neural recovery. When oxygen levels are low, due to poor breathing habits, inflammation, or stress, you may still feel mentally foggy and fatigued, even after a full night's sleep. That's why researchers have been exploring the role of oxygen in cognitive recovery and performance. In fact, a study published in Frontiers in Psychology found that hyperbaric oxygen therapy, HBOT, significantly improved sleep quality and brain function in individuals experiencing fatigue and mental fog. HBOT works by delivering 100% oxygen at increased pressure helping your brain and body absorb more of the fuel it needs to restore energy on a cellular level. This isn't a shortcut. It's not a biohack. It's one way to support your brain in doing what it was designed to do. Recover, heal, and thrive. So if you've been doing all the right things, sleeping enough, eating well, resting, but you're still waking up tired, it might be time to look a little deeper. Start with your routine. Align your sleep with your cycles. Calm your mind move your body. And if you're curious about how oxygen might support your mental energy, focus, and sleep quality, visit oxygenhealthsystem.com 